Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll cover how to set up Falcon Player with Docker and how to integrate it with X Lights for your Christmas light shows. Falcon Player is software for managing light shows commonly run on a Raspberry Pi. In this video, I'll walk you through installation of Falcon Player using Docker. After that, we'll take a sequence file from X Lights and load it into Falcon Player. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. When I started using GitHub, I switched over to using VS Code for a terminal client. It just made things easier on GitHub. So let's go ahead and get logged into our server here. And as always, let's make sure things are up to date. Now that everything is up to date, we can build the Falcon Player container. Took these instructions straight from their Docker Compose file that you'll see here in just a second. So first we're going to need to make a new directory. And then we're going to change to that directory. Now using the command in the description below, you can download the Docker Compose file from their GitHub page. Do an ls, there it is. And we're going to need one more directory called media. And we need to update the permissions to the media folder to ensure that the container has access. If you do a chmod 770 to the media folder, this is going to give all the users uh, and groups read write access to this folder. And now we can uh, modify the docker compose file. VS Code users can just type in code docker compose. Otherwise you can nano docker compose to edit the file. Here's where I pulled the instructions to update the folder. The main things we need to focus on in the docker compose file are the environment variables, the FPP docker IP address. If you don't want to specify your IP, you really don't need to. We can um, comment this line out. And you can update your time zone. And then down below on the ports, we can remove the IP addresses. And then for the web UI, we can update the outside port. Instead of using 80, we're going to use 8000. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and control S to save this file. And then we'll docker compose up dash D to bring up the container. Okay, so it looks like it got done pulling the image, but uh, port 8000 is being used on my server. And I should have thought of this beforehand. It is being used by Portainer, so let's go ahead and change this to something like uh, 8080. Go ahead and save this and compose up again. And there we go, now it's been created. Uh, to ensure that the Docker container is up and running now, we can do a Docker PS for uh, process status. And we can see that it is uh, running here. So now let's go ahead and browse over to our server on port 8080. And here it is. Up here at the top, we can enable or disable uh, UI password. Go ahead and disable this. I'm only gonna be accessing this from our local network. It's not gonna be exposed to the internet. Uh, player mode is going to say as player. You can give it a host name. And whether you want to share your statistics with the developers at Falcon or not. And then using the buttons at the bottom, you can uh, set your time zone. And you can also use the uh, lookup location to set the latitude longitude. Uh, this is useful for the schedule. Uh, so once you're done here, go ahead and press finish setup in the top right. If you made any changes that require a reboot it will be uh, right here in the top so go ahead and reboot the container it should only take a second next we need to head over to input output and then channel outputs and this is where you would add your light controller and this is usually going to match your controller settings in your sequencing software which brings us to x lights For those that don't know, Xlights is software used to create light sequences. Xlight itself can output to your controllers and it has scheduling and all that, but to avoid it running on your PC, 
or to just have more control over your show, you can export the sequence files to the Falcon Player. I'll leave a link to Xlight and the webpage in the description below if you guys are more interested in it. And uh, leave a comment below if you guys want a more specific video on setting things up within Xlights and your controllers. This is my personal Xlight setup already configured to my controller here named Maestro. And it's a pretty straightforward setup. The IP address, choosing E131 protocol. I have 510 channels per universe and I'm using seven universes. We're not going to get too involved with the setup on this. If you guys want a video on x like setup, just leave me a comment below. So let's go ahead and create a new sequence real quick. Okay, now that we have our sequence here, this is what it uh, should look like. Now let's go ahead and save this sequence. We'll call it the Grinch Matrix. And then upon saving that file, it creates an FSEQ file. And that's the file that we upload to our Falcon player. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my live Falcon player now. And we can see here that it is already up and running. Started off at 412 which was about 20 minutes ago. If we go back up to the input output setup here and channel outputs, we can see my controller setup and it pretty much matches exactly to the same setup that I had inside Xlight. I don't have anything crazy set up this year, it's just a few patterns and images. And now we can head over to our content setup and our file manager. And these are all the different sequences that I have loaded to the Falcon player. So we go into select a file and head on over to our X lights folder. We should be able to find our new sequence. Here it is here, Grinch matrix FSEQ. So this is the file we're gonna load. We can see here at the bottom, it was uploaded complete. Now we need to head back to content setup at the top here. And we can go to playlists. And when you can see here, I have two playlists. The Christmas playlist is the one we need to modify. And then on the right here, we can select add a sequence. And then in the sequence, we can just find our Grinch matrix. Here it is. And we'll go add. Once it's been added to the list, make sure you click save in the top right hand corner. And it's been saved. Now we should be able to head back over to status and controllers and back to our status page. And then this is the current playlist running. So if we stop it and then reload it, we should see our Grinch matrix has been added to the list. Now we'll just wait for the sun to go down so we can really see it and see what it looks like. All right, here we are in the yard and the playlist is playing. The new sequence should be right after Snoopy here. So let's see what the matrix Grinch looks like. And there it is. Looks great. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'm Steve, wishing you a Merry Christmas from Steve's Tech Stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.